The Anadar is a river in the far northeast Siberia which flows into the Gulf of Anadar of the Bering Sea and drains much of the interior of Chukotka Autonomous Okrug. Its basin corresponds to the Anadarsky district of Chukotka. The Anadar is 1,150 km long and has a basin of 191,000 square kilometers. It is frozen from October to late May and has a maximum flow in June with the snowmelt. It is navigable in small boats for about 570 km to near Markovo. West of Markovo it is in the Anadar Highlands and east of Markovo it moves into the Anadar Lowlands. The drop from Markovo to the sea is less than 100 feet. It rises at about 67 degrees north latitude and 171 degrees east longitude in the Anadar Highlands, near the headwaters of the Mali Eniwi, flows southwest receiving the waters of the rivers. Yablin in Yaropol, turns east around the Shchuchi Range and passes Markvavo in the old site of Anadirsk, turns north and east and receives the mine from the south. Thereby encircling the Lebedini Zakoznik, turns northeast to receive the Balia from the north in the Parapol Belsky Lowlands, then Past Ust Balia it turns southeast into the Anadar lowlands past the Ust Tanyura Zakoznik and receives the Tanyura from the north. At Lake Krayesenoi, it turns east and flows into the Wanman Bay of the Anadar estuary. If the Wanman Bay is considered part of the river, it also receives the Velikaya from the south and the Kanchalon from the north. Its basin is surrounded by Mgima and Palyavam, Bolshoi Eniwi and the Oloi Kalama Basin, and Penzina. In 1648 Semyon Desnev reached the mouth of the Anadar after being shipwrecked on the coast. In 1649 he went upriver and built winter quarters at Anadirsk. For the next 100 years the Anadar was the main route from the Arctic to the Pacific and Kamchatka. In the 18th century, the Anadar was described by the polar explorer Dmitry Loptev. The country through which it passes is thinly populated, and is dominated by tundra, with a rich variety of plant life. Much of the region has beautiful landscapes, dominated by often spectacular, rugged mountains. For nine months of the year the ground is covered with snow, and the frozen rivers become navigable roads. George Kennan, an American working on the Western Union Telegraph Expedition in the late 1860s, found that dog sled travel on the Lower Anadar was limited by lack of firewood. Reindeer, upon which the local inhabitants subsisted, were once found in considerable numbers but the domestic reindeer population has collapsed dramatically since the reorganization and privatization of state-run collective farms beginning in 1992. As herds of domestic reindeer have declined, herds of wild caribou have increased. There are 10 species of salmon inhabiting the Anata River Basin. Every year, on the last Sunday in April, there is an ice fishing competition in the frozen estuarine waters of the Anata's mouth. This festival is locally known as Corfest. The area is a summering place for a number of migratory birds including Brent geese, Eurasian wigeons and the pintails of California. Thanks for watching.